Welcome to Solo Shot First, and today we're going to be having a look at the SDCC exclusive Chrysanthemum figure from Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett. Um, now, when they announced that they were going to be doing this figure, um, I mean, we are still awaiting, obviously, the Chrysanthemum figure from the Deluxe box set, um, which isn't out yet, but obviously I believe there are some differences between the two figures certainly this one comes with uh, i believe a lot more loaded accessories and he's uh, he's got that sort of snarl on his face as opposed to the uh, deluxe box set which uh, he's actually got his uh, his mouth actually closed but I, I was i was in two minds to get this figure quite simply because the cost of it um i think is is well i mean in the uk you're sort of getting up to the region of uh, just shy of 40 pounds which is an awful lot of money for um what is essentially a 3.75 inch figure but but as an sdcc exclusive i thought um having had a look i thought this would you know i just thought well i'll, I'll bite the bullet on this one it, it, it isn't ordinarily something that i would get um but i did <laughs> so here we are so in terms of the actual packaging um I've got to say, I wasn't quite sure what, what I was expecting in, in, in terms of the size of it, um, because, you know, it is uh, just obviously essentially holding a 3.75 inch figure, but the box is quite big. Um, the actual artwork on the front of this box is really, really nice. You've got that sort of starburst figure down in that bottom left hand corner, uh, the Kenner logo in the right, and the nice uh, Book of Boba Fett logo with the 4 plus age group in the top left as you look at it. But... Um, They've depicted him obviously on a scene on Tatooine, uh, I think that's meant to be, and the image is actually really quite striking. On the side of the box, there are just a couple of different other images that you've actually got, uh, obviously with him holding his blaster, and there is also uh, him uh, holding a, I suppose it's a jug, isn't it, a, a drinks jug. Um, so it, it does actually come sort of quite loaded with accessories, this one. The back of the actual packaging, and I say the back, um, I think it's the back. I'm not quite sure, really. Possibly this is the front. But you've got the Vintage Collection logo down there in the bottom right-hand corner. And in that bottom left, you can actually see a number of the accessories that uh, he actually comes with. So it looks like, uh, you know, there's, there's removable hands in there. There is that drinks jug. Um, there is, uh, uh, I think there's sort of three different sort of blaster rifles. Um, and then you've got those sort of uh, knuckle dusters that, he, that, he, that he's got as well. So um, all in all, it does come with an awful lot of accessories. So um, the other side of the box, again, just shows you a slightly different image in holding that sort of... Uh, I would say it's some sort of fruit, and then, and then a couple of images with him holding the two different blasters, one the bowcaster and the other blaster. So let's get this uh, figure out of the packaging, and we will take a look at it in a little bit more detail. Okay, so just uh, removing the outer box, you do actually have this really, really nice interior box on the uh, on the right-hand side, and uh, I think it's really nicely the way that they've actually done that with that... Uh, sort of gold bandolier that he's actually wearing uh, and that's how you get into this so let's uh let's open that up i think there's another sticky bit of plastic i've got to just open from the top so let's just do that okay so if we remove those and then we'll just should open the box up and see what you've got so uh I hope you can see that all all right. The figure there looks, <laughs> I've got to say, actually looks really, really nice. I'm not quite sure what I was expecting, really. Um, we will get him out of the packaging in, in, a, in a little while. But on the right-hand side there, you've got um, that sort of blaster with the, uh, the sort of charge effect on. And there are a couple of those big sort of knife blades in that top right bit of packaging. And then you've got his, uh, I would say, his other main blaster there. And then he's actually got the sort of bow caster, I don't know if you can see that in this light, around his neck. And I would assume in that top left, there will be uh, the other bits and pieces like his, his hands and um, the charges uh, for his knuckle dusters and the, uh, the drink and the fruit. So let's um, open this up a little bit more and take a look at the figure and the accessories. Okay, so this is the figure out of the packaging, as you can see, and that that uh, 
uh, trying to get that out of the packaging probably <laughs> took me a little bit longer than it should have really um i mean it is actually really really nice packaging you've got to say that um but in terms of the figure um listen we've been waiting for this figure in the vintage collection for for such a long time you know the the black series have, 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 have had this uh this figure albeit um probably not the best one but um you know we have been waiting for this for such a long time and the first impressions of this figure it is super super impressive i mean it's a really bulky figure um in terms of the articulation with the figure um You've got exceptional articulation that we've had recently in all of these uh, 3.75 modern vintage um, with articulation. The only thing that you've got from, from the point of view of it is, is head. If I bring that right to the camera, there is really limited movement. But that's understandable because you've got these sort of um, tassels or dreads, whatever you want to call them. Um, but the rest of it is absolutely superb so you've got articulation at uh the shoulders um and this this is sort of his bandolier that goes onto these sort of armored plates are quite a softish plastic so it doesn't restrict his arm movement as you can see getting that up and down um so articulation at the shoulders you've got articulation at the uh elbows articulation at the wrists pretty sure there is a a hinge in there not 100 percent, but obviously these these um these wrists sorry i'm not even getting that in camera these wrists are removable you've got a couple of different hands that you can put on there um he does have a swivel at the waist and uh, a ball joint and the beautiful thing is he does have that sort of butterfly hinge which is great so articulation at the thigh at the knees and at the ankle so i won't go sort of really any more into the articulation because it basically does everything that you would want it to do, but it is a superb looking figure from the front. Um, it's it's predominantly sort of like a quite a, a a dark figure in terms of the sort of colouring, but there are some sort of light greys. I don't know if you can sort of see that properly. Um, just quite simply, it's a little bit dark and murky here. Um, but that head sculpt with him roaring if you want to say that is fantastic from the back again the figure looks if i can get him to stand mightily impressive um you know you've got those sort of braids or dreadlocks on the back the nice gold bandolier he does actually have that sort of bandolier going around the waist as well so super super impressive really nice looking figure um you know, I know he's not obviously in the uh, the book of Boba Fett uh, enormously. Um, you know, you don't see him that much, but but I believe he's. Uh, uh, you do if you're a collector of some of the comics, then uh, there's a lot more obviously of this uh, this figure that you'll see in the actual comic sets themselves. But lovely looking, really really nice looking, and and what it does do, I suppose, um, it really sort of leads you to you know possibly. You, not this sculpt because obviously it's very very thick but you could use something quite similar to to sort of give us a, an updated Chewbacca now in terms of the actual accessories that you get with the figure um I said it does come loaded that is his sort of traditional blaster that I think you mainly see him using in the book of Boba Fett um it does come with uh, a, a, a sort of traditional bow caster and that's got that piece that you get like with all the Chewbacca ones where you've just got to pop that in. Um, so th there's no real sort of colouring or detail on 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 the on the sort of bow caster or the crossbow, whatever you want to class it as. And then you get this other blaster um, with this sort of uh, electro charge that you can sort of put over the top. Now I know that you don't obviously sort of see him using that in the Book of Boba Fett, but again I do believe that it's actually been used in some of the comic art. For that type of blaster um you get two of these lovely i wouldn't say they're knives they're almost semi swords really um which are a plain silver with a nice sort of gold or bronze detail but it's gold really with the handles so two of those which is quite nice and then the other little accessories that you do get with this which is just i suppose an added touch um nothing major but i mean there is this uh, 
drinks jug, which is quite cool. So if you want to put them in a cantina or, you know, diorama, that's cool. You get two of these sort of electro charges for his knuckle dusters, which is superb. Um, that piece of fruit <laughs> that they showed you on the front or on the box art. And then you get um, two spare pairs of hands. Um, uh, one set is these, which is where he's obviously got his fent uh, clis Oh my God, his fists clenched. Um, so for a, just a fist fight with, again, the nice gold knuckle dusters. So that's pretty cool. And uh, as part of the other set, you get... Um, apologies, I know I'm only showing the one but you get with the hands open so he can hold the drink or hold the uh, the fruit. So all in all, I mean, it, it, you've got so many accessories that, that do actually come with his figure. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a real, listen, from a cost perspective, it is, I mean, it, it, it's getting to the realms for, for, for a lot of collectors where this sort of thing is, it's an awful lot of money for what it is. You know, that's what I would say. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a lovely looking figure. I really do like this and it will look really great in a, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a diorama. So we can put him on Tatooine or you can even sort of put him on the throne, you know, in the, in the throne room uh, when we get that. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's a lovely looking figure. I'll just bring it in again, just for one sort of final close up. Great looking figure. Fantastic articulation again on this really really nice um i think the figure's really really nice i mean the, the thing that you get obviously with regards to you know we're still waiting the deluxe box set and that's a little bit pricey but they could i mean hasbro will argue this is too big a figure probably to put on a card but it's not if you think of you know if you go back to the uh you know some of the other yes, much older figures where you've got like um hermy Oddle and things like that um those are huge characters and they were still put on a bubble so this you know it should be on a bubble but having said that, you know, the actual um, SDCC box set, let me just, sorry, scroll down for you just to put that box back in. Um, it is, it is a nice looking box. It, it really is. There's no, uh, there's, there's no denying that. And the figure itself is great. If you, you know, I suppose people would say, look, if you're a carded collector, then, you know, the only reason that you would actually keep this on on card because you can't see the figure is just because it is an SDCC exclusive, but um, other than that, you know, for for it, for an opener, yeah, you're probably paying a little bit too much for this, and it, it's not going to probably be much difference other than the head sculpt to the deluxe box set, which we haven't got yet. Um, but it does come with a lot more accessories. Anyway, um, that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, um, please hit the like button. If you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe, please do. There'll be more videos coming shortly. If you've got any questions, any comments on the figure, um, and please leave them in the comments section below and I'll come back to you as soon as possible. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.